What's going on folks, Brandon Shaver here. It's a new year, let's talk about what I've been working on. So if you've been following me on social media, you realize I've been doing some portrait studies using the indirect method. So let's get into it. This first one here, these are all 12 by 16 so far. This is a sergeant study. I actually did not use an indirect method for this. And there are some drawing errors here, but first study, a la prima, went pretty well. Experimented with some mediums and stuff. But then I began to move into the indirect method. So I start out with a layer of grisaille, which is just grays. So basically getting the values down in black and white. Then I move to the first layer of color. And this one actually didn't use a grisaille. I went into just the first layer of color. Still got a lot of work to go on this one. This one is a portrait of my girlfriend from a photo I took a few years ago. This is in the late evening, so nice sunlight here on the face. I'm really struggling with getting the shadows and the correct tones and stuff, but long way to go on this one. All this is still thinned down paint. I still need another layer on top of that. Really bring it home. And so I put that one to the side for a while because I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, man, I'm getting confused. It's really hard to figure out what color that exactly is. So I started another master copy. And this one, I started out with a grisaille, a gray layer. Then I did the first layer. I still need to do kind of the second layer and really tweak a few little things here. But it's really close. It's really close to being finished. And I'm happy with how it's coming out, man. I'm really just surprised at the, the quality and the level I've been able to get at very quickly. And it's funny to think about. I, th I think the last few years of my whole, you know, seven to eight years of this painting journey or six to eight years, whatever it's been, Obviously, I've been, I started everything backwards. You know, I started out learning the a la prima method, doing everything in one layer and uh, basically just trying to finish it all in one go. Not the way you really learn how to paint. You know, if you go to an atelier or you think about the past, how people learned in the past how to paint, you first learn how to draw really well. I kind of had that down, but I still even went back to that and figured out how to, how to draw even better. And now I'm finally moving to the indirect method, which is starting out with just values so you're kind of drawing with paint and then you put the color on then you you know using a limited palette and stuff like that <clears throat> this is just in the drawing stage so i used on the beginning here this is a pan pastel so it's just kind of a powdery pastel i guess this is raw umber color i also have a black but i just use that to get the values and then i go in a little bit more Detail it in with graphite and then I'm going to start the grisaille layer on top of that. I just haven't gotten to that one yet And then one last one here. This one is almost finished. So I finished up the hair already I'm just moving down the face next I'm going to really work into the eyes finish the eyes Really need to work on the nose and mouth and the clothing and then it's pretty much done a lot of nice texture here on the clothes and stuff really thick impostos and uh, having a lot of fun, really, really figuring it out, really learning what I'm doing. And I'm, I've been really inspired and in learning a lot from Cesar Santos. You guys go check out his channel if you don't watch it already. Really great artist, really great guy. I love his, the way he thinks about painting and some of his methods and stuff. Really been learning a lot. And uh, something else I've taken from him is the sketchbooks. And that's something I'm going to start keeping now are these larger kind of sketchbooks that are more than just plain air sketchbooks. I've been keeping a lot of the watercolor plain airs and those are fun to look back on like at my trip and just see the memories. And it helped me figure out with landscapes like what I'm attracted to, what colors am I naturally drawn to, what subjects do I like, what am I interested in. So that really helped me with plain air. So now I'm gonna do the same with sketchbooks indoors. And so far I've just done little graphite studies of a Bouguereau, and uh, just writing down my thoughts of, you know, portrait series for 2019, writing down some uh, ideas and things, really just kind of brainstorming on the page, figuring things out, some technical info here about drawing and shading and stuff. I mean, just having fun, just, you know, drawing uh, plain studies here of the simplified eye, another simplified eye and ear, and, uh, you know, just trying to improve the quality of my work. And I got this idea from an artist on Instagram. He did a copy or a, uh, he did a painting of a, a flesh sphere, like a, the skin if it was a ball. And uh, I was like, man, that's really cool. I'm gonna try that out. And I did this uh, with oil paint, indirect method, three different layers. And then I just isolated the colors over here so I could see what they actually were. 
Uh, very, pretty rough. I think I need to try it again, do a little bit more work on a different one, but this is just a gesso. I gessoed the sketchbook page, uh, three layers of gesso, and then I can oil paint in it. And then one other thing so far in this sketchbook, I did a sketch from a painting at a local museum. And uh, I'm gonna do a grisaille layer and then the first layer of color, and then I'm gonna go back to the museum, compare it, and then write some notes down, you know, the cheek needs to be warmer or lighter, the shadow needs to be warmer, cooler, lighter, darker, things like that. Bring it back, do it, paint again, and then go back to the museum. I just became a member of a local museum, so I have general admission, free general admission, so I can really go anytime. So, really cool, man. I'm just excited for where I'm headed this year, trying to frame all these uh, forest paintings that I've done in the past, maybe touching up a few of them, really bringing up the quality of them, and then trying to get a show this year. That's one of the things on my list as well while I'm actually developing this other series of portrait paintings. So just a lot of, a lot of work going on, a lot of uh, movement happening, a lot of things going on. So hopefully I'll be able to show you guys more in the future as the work progresses, show you guys the finished versions of these master copies and other portrait paintings that I'm gonna start working on. And, just trying to do everything, man. I'm gonna get out and start doing some plain air again once the weather gets a little bit warmer. It's been cold and rainy, just not really conducive for uh, watercolor outdoors, but definitely looking forward to getting back out there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourself. Peace.